Um, well, score prediction is based on team selection. I, I think he's got to keep five or six players from from the Chelsea game in that side just to get minutes, get keep keep ticking over. I think even Harry Kane could do with the game um, and try and get on the score sheet. I know we've got Arsenal on Sunday, but I think it's important for some big players to keep playing. Even Ndombele, the Celso, players like that. I'd like to see Tanganga come back in. Um, if we play a semi-strong side mixed with a couple of fringe players, um, I can see it being a draw after 90 minutes and dreaded extra time. Um, that's my gut feeling. Um, my heart, I'd love to say 2-1 Spurs um, and, and get out of there with, and get through to the next round. I've just got this feeling it'd be one or after 90 and go to extra time. But then I don't know what's going to happen after that. We'll see. <laughs> oh, I hate that. I can't cope with that. But um, Mitch, mm, what's your kind of thoughts? Feeling. I was thinking the exact same as Cookie, to be honest. I got, a, I got a feeling that we will play a relatively strong team, which we should, because we should go for the win and it's a cup competition. You know how the chairman feels about that and how us as fans feel about it. Um, again, I, I have to agree with Cookie. I feel like it could be a draw after 90 minutes and we could see extra time. Um, uh, you know, it might be it might even be a similar sort of game to that Everton game if you remember last season uh just like goals everywhere I could see it being think, something yeah. like that um I'll go I'll go with a I'll go with a three two uh after extra time to Spurs I think nice hopefully my heart can say that because I don't know if I can but as well as you Carl <laughs> what's your kind of thoughts yeah, I think a lot of it as well will depend on the side that Wolves put out. I think, you know, they might have their view on the Premier League and surviving this season. So if they put a weaker side out, I think we'll put a reasonably strong side out because let's face it, we're not getting top four this season. So the Cups are vital for us. So I think we need to go big in a Cup this season. So I think we'll put a reasonably strong side out and I, I can't see Wolves matching that. Um, and if that happens, then I think we can get a 2-1 over the line. Um but my fear would be if we kind of go weak and Wolves go reasonably strong, then I think they'll brush us aside. But I can't see it. I think Premier League survival for them will be their main goal. So I think we get through this 1-2-1. One, one. But it, it won't be a pretty game to watch, but it, it never is, is it, when it's Spurs, unfortunately. No, You're always, be, always behind the sofa, and, you know, peering through your fingers. Anything, take anything just to get <laughs> yeah, through, yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take one in, take one in off a defender, whatever. As long as we get through, because we really do need to concentrate on these cups this year. Because you know, when we've not got the strength to go for a, a push in the top four, so we've got to do something. Also, I'm fed up of uh, talking about the Addy Cup. That's a joke, by the way. But um, 